So you want to know how to make the best beef stock from scratch? Stay tuned, it's liquid gold. Guitar freaks and anorex lovers of the tasty life, Thanks for tuning in and welcome to Hilco Cuisine. In this episode of Guitar Maker's Food, we will talk about liquid gold. Liquid gold is the base of many, many, many dishes. Did you ever wonder how a chef makes his food taste like, mm, that's better than mine? Well, this is one of the secrets. This is how they do it. They make their own stock. So let's do this, shall we? We're starting off with six bones of cow, cow bone, and we rub them in with olive oil, just a little bit. Then we're gonna take one kilogram or 2.2 pounds of chuck roast and give that a light rub too. Don't use too much olive oil, we just need a light coating. The next step is arranging the meat and the bones into your liking. Make it a piece of art, you will taste it later. What we're gonna do with this is whack it into a preheated oven that measures 220 degrees Celsius or 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now sharpen your knife. Always important to use sharp knives. You have plenty of time because the meat has to stay in that oven for 30 minutes. Now take four onions four cloves of garlic you can be lazy you don't have to clean them take some celery some a bunch of carrots and then some leek throw in a bunch of bay leaves a bunch of organic rosemary the herbs of all herbs and then take one clove three juniper berries and then just one turn of hot salt then we take some dried thyme we got plenty of time for this recipe then after half an hour, 45 minutes, the meat is nice and brown. We're gonna turn it around and coat it with some tomato paste. The paste will do some magic, but I can't tell you every secret about the paste. If I do, I have to kill you and we don't want that. But anyhow, just do it. Once everything has got a nice and arty farty smear of tomato paste, whack it back into a 180 degrees oven or a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for like 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Don't let the tomato paste burn. This will be bad. Once it has been in the oven for like 15 minutes to 20 minutes, it's time to get this party started, people. We're gonna move all that meat into the stock pot together with all the other ingredients. It's gonna have a crazy long party, but first we have to do something else. Now, speaking of parties, there ain't no party if we don't have any quality liquid. So we're gonna add in like eight liters, that's like 2.2 gallons of cold water. By the way, the water has to come from a spring from the Virgin Islands. Otherwise, this stock will be terrible. Once all that party liquid is in the house, bring that pot to a slow simmer. You will see the first half an hour, it will start foaming. Get that foam away because it's not a foam party. No, the foam can make your stock cloudy. That's the only reason why we are removing this. It's not poison, it's not filthiness, it's just not a foam party. Once all that stuff is removed, it's time for you to have a party. Because we're gonna let this pot simmer for, listen now, listen, 24, one day, two, four hours. So one day, one 365th of a year, it's gonna have to slowly simmer. And no people, I'm not joking, liquid gold just needs time. Now, 24 hours later, and you will see half of the liquid has been evaporating. This is a good thing as we get flavor concentration. Now take your slotted spoon and get rid of all those party animals and party vegetables. We got no longer use of them. You can use that piece of meat. If you let it cool down, you can slice it up and whack it onto a freshly cut sourdough slice bread. Then add some mustard and enjoy life with a nice fine wine. It's impossible to catch everything with your slot and spoon. So take a sieve and pour everything through that sieve. Or do you call it a strainer? A strainer sieve, sieve strainer. Anyhow, just pour it through it so you get rid of all the junk. And here it almost is the liquid gold. Before using it, well, you can use it now, but I like to put it in the fridge first. 
The reason I do this is because the fat will solidify when you chill it and this will make it a lot easier to remove it. So first take your trusty slotted spoon and play the fishing game till you got most of the fat. Then take your trusty strainer and run it through the strainer one more time. This will remove most of the fat particles so it's nice and light. I can hear you thinking what can you do with this stock? Well there's probably 350 million ways to use this but I'm just gonna name a few. You know imagine you make onion soup well this is the jus you want to use stock is the base of everything a good sauce a soup you can use it in your noodles i'm not gonna sum up everything this would be crazy i like to portion it out and freeze it this will stay good for half a year in upcoming videos you will see how to use this liquid gold people i would like to thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please subscribe and hit the tinkly bell icon if you want to get notified when a new video is available people stay safe be nice to each other and remember guitar makers food is the best food you will ever taste I hope to see you next time in the next episode of Guitar Maker's Food. Bye for now. Have a tasty week.